One of the things you can hear most now is the sound of birds and the sound of ambulances. It's very eerie because it's silent for most of the day, except for those things. Hi, it's Clarence Eckerson from Street Films here again. It was about three weeks ago that I went out on my bicycle to show you how much the streets have changed with coronavirus uh, restrictions going on. Back then, very few people were wearing masks because it was not recommended. Uh, right now, I'm about to go out for my daily walk. Sometimes it's a run, sometimes it's a walk. Uh, another thing that's interesting is just three weeks ago, there were no leaves on the trees. There were almost no flowers. Now spring has sprung and some of the days are absolutely lovely and it feels a little weird from just a few weeks ago when it was often rainy and it was often very drab gray days. So let's check out what the streets look like here on a typical walk I'll do. So this is a little crazy. This is 34th Avenue in my neighborhood and any normal rush hour day right around five like it is, bumper to bumper traffic for the most part as people treat uh, 34th Avenue as a alternative to uh, Northern Boulevard when it gets backed up. I have some clips I've tweeted showing up to 20 blocks of gridlock at times. It shows just how bad it can get. Now there's light traffic. You could even call it sparse at times. As I mentioned almost all the time, I try to walk right down the middle of the street because you're definitely at least six feet, most times 10 or 12, 15 feet away from people out here in the middle of the street. You see a lot of other people doing that too because there's not enough separation on the sidewalk most of the time. The streets are largely devoid of traffic, but when somebody goes by you, it's usually at a very dangerous rate of speed. So here I am standing at the corner of 79th Street and 34th Avenue, where there was an extremely pitifully lame attempt at open streets for people to recreate and get food and visit pharmacies. Basically, this trial run by Mayor de Blasio was planned to fail. He required up to three or four NYPD officers per block. He said it could not be done without proper policing. The mayor shut it down after 10 days, saying one, not too many, not enough people used it, which basically is absurd because people, and he included, said they were afraid of too much congregating. Very rarely did you have people getting too close to each other. You need to create a network of miles for it to work, and other cities are doing a fantastic job. Here you can see some awesome footage in Denver where they've done 13 miles and are reporting almost no police presence on the streets. Minneapolis has done 18 and some advocates are saying they didn't even know there were any police out at all for 18 miles. And in Oakland, they have announced they're doing an incredible 70 miles, almost 10% of the streets. And there they've put up barricades or saw horses just basically saying, this is not a through street. You can use it if you need to get to this street if you live here, but otherwise you cannot travel through here. Now here in New York City to protect bus drivers, uh, they are no longer having you pay and now you board and depart at the back of the bus. Here I am on Northern Boulevard, a usually dangerous conduit of ever present cars, trucks, buses, you name it, it's congested and it can be scary. But as you can see here, as I pan, there's almost no traffic at times, just no traffic. It's actually as quiet as I've ever heard it. So that's quite amazing. I think I have some footage here to pop in of what Northern Boulevard might look like at a typical time uh, on a weekend even. So now we finally get to hear a little bit of noise. And one of the reasons is that we're above the Grand Central. And right now it's about 5.30 PM. This area is usually choked with cars and pollution. Many times the roadway congested with flow moving vehicles. Nobody going anywhere. Right now there's a fraction of the vehicle you usually see at rush hour. But what's more amazing is how crisp the air is. I have stood over this roadway many times and can tell you, you can smell and taste the dirt and pollution in the air. Right now, there's none. The air is crisp and clear. As many of us have found out, face ID no longer works when you're wearing a mask. Here we are on Junction Boulevard, which 
basically looks like a ghost town. Look at all these juicy parking spaces. I mean, if it is a normal day, any other day of the year, these spaces are all filled during business hours. So I'm pretty sure I have some footage of me riding through here last year around this time. And as you could see, there was no place to park. There was double parking, triple parking. You even had to slalom on your bike to get through. There are a few people walking around because there are a couple of restaurants and a grocery open. So I want to thank everybody for coming on my four mile walk, just seeing what's going on around my neighborhood. Anyway, I want to leave you with this, something uplifting and exciting. As you probably know, every night in major cities, people are thanking our emergency responders at seven o'clock with a big cheer. And I'm getting back here just in time to see the event just about to start. Here down here is uh, neighbor Billy who comes out with the American flag every night and cheers everybody on at seven o'clock.